Every day where the little engines work, the crisp air is suddenly filled with a familiar noise. The lakes and mountains have many visitors, and Harold the helicopter flies the sky, making sure that no one is in trouble. All present and correct. Time to return to base. Then Harold noticed something. A sturdy diesel was coming round the mountain. Harold flew lower for a closer inspection. I'm Harold, who are you? I'm Rusty, replied the diesel. Don't recall seeing you before. What brings you this way? Sir Topham Hatt sent me to help the other engines, huffed Rusty. This was no time for a chat with a helicopter. Well done, cheers, and keep up the good work. Cheeky chopper, muttered Rusty. Not long now, encouraged the driver. We'll soon be at the top station. Peter Sam and Sir Handel were glad to see Rusty. Even so, Sir Handel wouldn't stop grumbling. The cars didn't like Sir Handel and wanted to play tricks on him. No one understands our feelings, sympathized Gordon. Now, if you were ill, you couldn't shunt cars. Could you? Good idea, replied Sir Handel. I'll try it. He did so next morning. I don't feel well, he groaned. There wasn't time to examine him, so some of his cars were coupled behind Peter Sands' coaches. Rusty promised to follow with the rest. Peter Sam didn't mind the extra work. He left his coaches at the station and trundled cheerfully on. Soon they reached the quarry where the cars were needed. Empty cars at the bottom of the slope are hitched to a cable. Loaded ones at the top are hitched to another. By their weight, loaded cars run down the steep slope, pulling the empty ones up. Peter Sam duly waited at the bottom of the slope for the loaded cars. He never bumped cars unless they misbehaved. But the loaded cars couldn't see him properly. They thought he was Sir Handel. Their chance for trickery had come. Faster! Faster! They yelled. No, no! wailed the empty cars. It's Peter Sam! But it was no use. Hurrah! Hurrah! roared the cars. Peter Sam shut his eyes. wailed Peter Sam. Rusty was working nearby and came to help clear up the mess. Bust my buffers, exclaimed Rusty. Never mind, Peter Sam, we'll get you out. Peter Sam felt battered. His funnel was cracked and his boiler dented. Thank you, Rusty, he sighed and limped slowly home. I'm sorry about your accident, said Sir Handel. I always stand well back. Cars don't like me. Why didn't you warn me? I didn't think. You never do. You can start thinking now while you're doing Peter Sam's work as well as your own. That'll teach you to pretend you're ill. Sir Handel did start thinking about Gordon. When the wreckage was cleared away, Rusty set off along the line. Splendid to see you again, whizzed Harold. I'm completing my evening's lookabout. Well done. Cheers, and keep up the good work. And the little diesel purred back home.